Hello everyone, my name is Melon Comic, and welcome back to another gaming video, which I haven't done for a while. Um, I'll be playing Train Simulator today with the beautiful clan class locomotives. I like these things. The, they do all look a bit like 9Fs. Like, you could honestly confuse them for one if it wasn't for, like, the three large wheels. 9Fs had around, um, passengers in. Yeah, 9Fs had around, um, a, what was it? Like, like, five driving wheels on each side. There we go. Love that whistle. But yeah. Nine Fs were goods locomotives. These, I believe, were passenger ones. Actually, we don't need to put on this. We just need to move the regulator forward a bit, and we'll start moving. Come on. Fuck. Holy shit. Um. I don't know how this. Come on. I know I can. Ah, here we go. We started here. Right. So, yeah. Um, I believe in Train Simulator, this one, the name changes every time you drive it. To all the different clan class locomotives. So we're on Clam MacLeod. It's not MacLeod. I, I don't I don't believe it. But, um, yeah. So this was one of the later locomotives built by BR. Like I said, they were all scrapped. There is plan. There is currently a project to build one, very much like Tornado, which is cool. I if I was to choose like some locomotives that I'd like to bring back from Extinction, British ones specifically. It would be the E2s and the J50s. The E2s are obvious for, well, I guess you'd kind of be kind of obvious. But, um, I personally like the E2 design a lot. It's one of my favorite tank engine designs. Um, this one, for this route, we're just going to Chet. Maybe not to Chester, that's a little far. Um... Well, well, we'll see how far we can get her. But yeah, I enjoy Train Simulator. I enjoy trains, particularly steam engines. Um, I find them quite interesting. Man, the, the, the Klein class had some really nice whistles. They're really beautiful. They're equipped with these safety features, which you have to keep pressing them when they beep. Otherwise, the train's gonna shut down. Yeah. Um. This is a nice game. I like it. I find it kind of relaxing. Um. I'm currently playing on the Welsh coast, I believe that's what it is. Yeah. It's a nice loco locomotive. Um, I'm currently just keeping it on the speed limit. You don't want to go full speed yet. Okay, now we can kind of start picking up a bit of speed. Can we turn off the sander? Yeah. I do love on the model for this. They got these nice rimmed out wheels. I don't know what they say, but they look cool. Um, so we'll get this thing going. Get our pistons moving. I'll turn on... Where's the blower? Because I know this is in, um... Here. There we go. Pick up a bit of steam. Um... Yeah, I've... Like, I live in, um, Newfoundland. We don't have trains anymore. Oh, 
right, do they have that? Oh, shit. We don't have trains anymore. The Newfoundland Railway closed in the 1980s. So, um, well before I was born. So every time I've ridden on like a train, it's always been really special to me. Um, I remember my mom would tell me stories that like she'd go out and she'd put like when they'd hear the train whistle, they'd go out and they put pennies on the tracks, and the train would fly. And, um, yeah, there are still a few engines here left in Newfoundland. There's a railway museum out there. Um, there's one. Oh, gotta press the button. Should be good now. Um, I believe these engines were considered rather disappointing. And, yeah, even if they weren't that impressive, I still like them. Now, I just really love their whistle, though. It's like a very nice, deep whistle. Sounds very intimidating. And also, they're a clan. I like the nice BR livery. I, I like a lot of BR liveries. BR blue is one of my favorites, but also BR black. BR olive is also up there. Um, I don't like the Bachman one though. The BR like Bachman um, olive livery because it just seems too glossy in my opinion. The stripes are supposed to be red, yet they look kind of brown. And that's just my major problem with that. It's nothing wrong with the models itself, it's just the paintwork. But I do like these locomotives. Oh, just in time. So, um, we're here. We're passing through here. We're gonna have to get all the way up to here. And either A, I'm gonna run out of water by then. Yeah, let's go full on. Come on. Yeah, I will say it does take a while to reach like a decent speed on this, but that's fine. Come on. Can we get this? Here we go. We're up to 30 miles now. We have to get up to a decent speed. Oh dear. So I believe these are the safety features, just in case the train becomes a runaway, it will, if it isn't responded to, it will automatically break. But I do like this. Express locomotives, I think, are always some of the most interesting ones. Well, goods locomotives also are quite fascinating to me. Here we go. Alright, so we're getting her up to um, 50 miles. I don't know how to open these. Trying to keep her going. Oh dear. Let's go. Give her some top speed. Then. Um, I believe like one report that I find kind of interesting about this is that the clan class, at least it's kind of related to it, the engine Evening Star, the last steam engine built by British Railways, was often seen overtaking the, I mean, 9Fs in particular were often seen overtaking these. So it'd be, and yeah, the 9Fs were good at, goods engines, though I do believe Evening Star did pull passenger services. Right. Um, we're already halfway on the water. I don't know how long I'll be able to make it, but I think we can get there. I think we can get there. Put her to here, and we'll just go. Actually, we might want to pick up a bit more speed, reaching the hills. 
Um, of course, most of this video will be heavily edited, you know, duh, duh, duh. but we'll keep her going. Bro, oh, close the window. Oh, it's on the side. Oh, it's on the side of the part of it's, it's on the smoke box, is it? Yeah, it is. Um, kind of similar to Tornado's whistle. Because usually, when you imagine a steam engine's whistle, it's usually on, I believe, the smoke box. All right, we're up to 60 now, and um, and almost, eh. oh dear, we're not making this, at least I don't think so. But if we do run out, well, we'll, we'll make it a decent way. Things thundering down the line. I'm going to release the brakes. Oh. Nah. Right. I do hope to get a Hornby model of, of these one of these days. I, ca I quite like Hornby. The problem is I live in Canada. The Hornby models ain't easy to get. I have um, got, I have purchased an E2 one off auction. So that will hopefully be arriving soon. I can have one of those. I do hope Hornby eventually re-releases their E2. Um... Perhaps if they wanted to do something different, they could put it in BR Black. Because, like, we got one in, um, we got one in London, LB, we got one in Umber, in the Umber livery color. We got one in Southern Olive, I believe Southern Black. We never got one in, um, BR Black, which would be nice to see. You know, maybe do what they did with the Terriers, upgrade the detailing. They do that, but I have spent a bit of money on this. Yeah, uh, I don't think we're making it there. Where are we? It's all the way up here. I'll, I'll see what happens. Does it just refill it automatically or we're just going to run out? Because that's something that I've kind of been wondering at this point. Come on, where's the, where's the green? Where's the green? Here we go. Often not the coal I have to worry about with this, but... Um, I believe these were called the Elizabethan class. Correct me if I'm wrong. I always like the names that, um, the nicknames that, uh, that, that engine classes can get. Like, you know, J95s were called austerities because they were built on the cheap. Um, big boys were absolutely massive. Um, coronation class engines were named because most of them were named after, like, Duke of insert place. His king class was named after um, well, British kings. Hall class is just named after Hall. I, I can't remember what they're named after. But yeah, like some really unique names. The Duke Dogs were named because they were crossed between like, I believe a Duke locomotive and a Bulldog class locomotive. They were like, I believe the Duke like top part, the Bulldog chassis was used. And it technically wasn't a new engine. It, it was interesting, because I believe the names were made to make fun of the... The, um, railway director. Ooh. 
I guess that's it. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I I want to get back into game videos because I can find I can just like talk all I want while doing something I enjoy. I'll see you all around. Bye. Mm -hmm.